Hey guys, um, yeah, so regarding the question of how to model this vase, um, this is the result that I arrived at and my approach was pretty much just to model the simplest um, or the uh, basics of the pattern. So we want this to repeat like one, two, three, four times and we want it to run around like this. So basically I model these little, these two little guys here. Um, then I have an array modifier that duplicates it upwards. Another array modifier that duplicates it this way. So now we have a like a strip of this pattern. Then we need it to deform. For that I use a simple deformation modifier um, set to bend. And Bend can be a little bit tricky to use. You need to um, basically, at least that's the, that's the approach that I usually take, you need to have an object to bend around. So that's this empty right here. And um, depending on how this is rotated, the bend will act differently. But uh, 90 and 90, X and Z is what worked for me. Um, so using this approach like I'll just turn off these again. Using this approach, just like modeling the minimum, like the smallest part of this, smallest repeating part of this hap of this pattern, um, and then duplicating it out so that you have all that you need. And again, I, I don't know how many segments of this are around this uh, cylinder, so I've just sort of eyeballed it a little bit. Um, but I hope it's sort of reasonably close. Um, so having this result to kind of uh, work on or to, to, to continue working on, I'll just duplicate um, duplicate this, leave this uh, this one with all the modifiers, leave that there for future reference if I need to go back. Then I'll apply all of these. So now this is a mesh. Um, or actually, let me just undo that. I think I might skip the bevel. Go into edit mode, merge vertices, just to make sure that um, there isn't any sort of duplicate stuff or any unwelded vertices in there. <coughs> but this should be okay. Um, Yeah, and from there it's basically just, okay, so how many segments? We needed four of these, or one, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, or actually this one, one, two, three, four. So from there I will just kind of, um, I'll just kind of take these off, delete these. And again, one, two, three, four, delete these, these guys. Um, Okay, and these these guys, we need those gone as well. Almost there. So from there I'll just alt click this to select the whole edge loop, E to extrude, C to constraint to Z axis, scale set to zero. Do the same thing down here. Alt click the edges to select the entire edge loop, E, C to C to C uh, to Constrain to the z-axis, uh, move it up a bit, fill with F, inset, right-click, use loop tools to um, turn it into circle, and the same procedure on the top, inset with the I key, loop tools, circle, scale it up a bit, Alt E extrude along normals. Yep. And that was basically my approach. And um, then it might make sense to apply a bevel modifier to give it a li little bit more uh, softness on the edges because obviously there's no such thing as a completely hard edge in the real world. Um, so 
that sort of something to experiment with. Yep. I hope that helps. Bye.